I like it. I absolutely, I like that, that pulled me in in those um, few seconds. That's just a clip, just yeah. a sample of Abiola. Got my attention. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's locally produced and directed from some of my favorite people, the producers of Keeping Up with the Joneses. So good morning, Romel Hall. Morning, morning. How are you? I'm doing pretty good, how are you? I'm doing well. Proud to see your work? Yes, 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 as usual. Um, <laughs> working hard, had a wonderful cast, and here we are again. Yeah, and today, along with Romel Hall, we have some of the actors, uh, Abiola, the star, and uh, she is Adiel, did I say it right? Adiel? Yeah. Adiel Charles, and at the head of the table, that's Regine? Yes, please. Regine Welch, she's an actor as well. She, she plays Tori Campbell, the one who picks on you're the main one. You're the bully. <laughs> She's really yeah. handling you. Yeah, that's not so. her personality at all. <laughs> okay, yeah. good job. So tell, tell us about it. Yeah, um, basically, Abiola tells the story of this 15-year-old girl, Abiola, who was um, removed from a private secondary school to a public secondary school and the stuff that she has to encounter, right? Um, it's basically narrated by Abiola. 30 years into the future. So it's sort of like one the years in that region. Ah. So it's basically her in 2044 talking about her life back in 2014. Yeah. What inspired this, this theme though? Um, what happened was that we were doing an audition for Keeping Up With The Joneses and we needed a 13 to 15 year old girl. And we had so many, come. we had a, like, at least 20 to 30 um, teenagers come out. And they were really, really good. So my wife told me, I always want to do a show geared towards teenagers. So my wife told me, you know, you got to do that team show, you got to follow up on that team show. So we basically put pen to paper and literally in six weeks we were <laughs> wrapped up in production. Nice. Literally. What do you think the response has been so phenomenal? Is it because that the story is real to viewers? Yeah, well, one of the things I wanted to do was to make sure that it was real, as real as possible without being too real. Because you know you don't want to put in a lot of profiles and different things that happen in the school as well. Um, you want to have elements of that sort of thing, but you know, you, don't, you still want to be tasteful, yeah, right? Yeah, tasteful. Um, but what, we, what I try to do is, that I, I, I mean, I deal with young people a lot. And I, before we, I put pen to paper, I picked their brains, and I actually sat down with about 10 young people to ask, okay, so what goes, in, goes on in school? Because I left school. Yeah, a while ago, yeah. <laughs> um, just in 2013. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, so, yeah, so I'm a little far removed from the secondary school life. So I asked them like, what goes on in secondary school, and they gave me a whole set of little curious um, um, uh, things that would, yeah, scenarios that would have gone on. So we basically took that and we moved it into the show. Well, well, I want you to tell our viewers why uh, Adiel for Abiola and why Regine for Tori. Um, because when they came to the auditions, they were, they were, they were it, was, it was tough. I must say, the audition process was really, really tough. Um, one of the things that stood out about Adiel was that when she came to the audition, she asked, um, she asked about the character, what, um, what type of personality the character has, and how the person would say this sort of thing. So she really, in that short space of time, looking over the script, she really started to delve into it. When Regine came in, um, actually Regine was helping us out. I can't remember if you were helping us on like, keeping up with the Joneses before or if that was no, the case. She was actually doing. She was actually doing running. She was actually helping us at the audition. Oh. She. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's an important job. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> much. I've done it. I know. Yeah. So she, she also, um, came, but her personality was so strong. We said, um, you know, we were for her because originally we had another girl to be the bully, um, but unfortunately she had to travel, and uh, Regine was actually supposed to be another student. But then we switched her around and made her the bully, and I think it worked. It worked. And, and, worked. and Adele, how has this changed your life, or has it? Um, it definitely was a new experience, something that I actually enjoy doing a lot. And I know for sure that whatever I do in my life that I'm going to take this experience. So I'm guessing that one day or another I'll look back and say this has helped me in some miraculous way. I see a familiar yeah. face <laughs> in your face. Did you get any coaching from anyone? <laughs> By any chance? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, you've yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah. All right. What about you? Tell me, tell me, Regine, how, how has it been for you? It was definitely a great learning experience. It is something I know I really want to do for the rest of my life because I had so much fun with the whole cast and the crew. 
working with the director to pick out, you know, the different personality traits within the characters, learning what he wants for the characters, and then working with the whole cast. It was just a big family, it was fun, and you really didn't realize that all the time was going by. Yeah, right, and that it was work. Yeah. Well, that yeah. means you love it, and that's what work should actually be, something that you love. So, was there a challenge, any challenge at all? What was your it biggest was challenge? definitely a challenge for the fact that from young, I was bullied straight through school. Wow. So being on the other side, it was definitely hard. But being seeing through Tori's eyes, I realized why certain people behave the way they do. Mm -hmm. So it definitely opened my heart to see, you know, some people go through a lot. Mm -hmm. Some people are just angry. Some people are just sad. Some people are just hurting. And, and you really have to see why they're behaving the way they are. I was going to ask you similarly, um, how difficult it was playing the role, particularly you function in, in, in a secondary school environment still, um, there's a lot of what you experience in the movie, is it mirrored in, 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 in school, school life, yeah? Of course, of course, because like, like Regine, I kind of saw myself like coming down to, right before the audition actually, I was bullied mm -hmm. in a way, and that, that's why I felt towards Aviola's character. I loved her a lot because I felt that she was just like me and the things that happen in Aviola are things that happen in school. Children do bully children, do lash out. They look for you even after something has long gone. Yeah. They, still, they still come after you. But I think Abiola handled herself. I think so. Yeah. I felt <laughs> the wickedness in her character. You dealt with that very, very well. So, you know, my question now, Lamal, is why well, because um, right now the world is going in that direction. Uh, we have video on demand, we have Hulu, we have Netflix. Um, we just want to try. I mean, we did keep up the Joneses on, on TV, but we wanted to try a different medium to see how that would work out because um, there is a, there's a whole world out there of yeah. web series and, and um, web shows. So we wanted to um, investigate that and see how it works. And it is a little different because we're keeping up with the Joneses, I have to maintain a certain 30 page um, you know, range mm -hmm. of, of a script. But for Abiola, one episode is like 10, 15 pages because when you're doing a web series, you cannot put it on a, a web series an episode cannot 24 minutes. Right. It just cannot. It has to be bum, 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 and then finish. But yeah. then... How uh, often are you going to release them? Well, we've been releasing them every two to three weeks, right? right? Um, we're actually working on the third episode, putting the um, finishing touches on the third episode, which will hopefully come out in the next week and a half or so. What's been the response to that? Um, it's been phenomenal. It's been, it's been really great. Um, we're actually um, just, we're really just getting started. Really, it's, the story has really just started to pick up. And we're going to find out more about why Tori is the way she is um, when we meet Tori's mom, who's also going to be a little familiar to Barbadian audiences. Um, yeah, so it has been really good. People have been um, commenting a lot on it and uh, positively and all over Barbados. And again, I wanted to know if, because with Keeping Up the Joneses, it was geared towards adults, but you know, people latched on to it. So I want, I just, it was just interesting to see adults now latching on to this. When and is it coming back? I know we're talking about Abiola, but oh. I have to ask you. I know different things are happening with the real life Joneses, but mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, but, uh, everybody's everywhere. Um, but we actually have a full season written. And as long as sponsorship happens, um, <laughs> we can look at having um, season four, season number two. We look forward to when it comes back. Anything else you want us to know about Abiola? Yeah, Abiola, you can check out facebook.com slash Abiola series. Uh, that's facebook.com slash Abiola series. And episode one and two are there. And um, just look out for it. Great stuff, and we'll keep looking out for you girls because you're <laughs> yes. doing wonderful things nice and work. enjoying Absolutely it. Absolutely nice work. Good Love job. All the best to you.